Hey everybody, this is David from shavingart.com, Instagram, the best barber. And today I'm gonna show you how to do Lewis Beard One. Check it out. What you wanna begin doing is pretty much evening out the hair, the length of the hair. So what I'm doing is taking a number one clip and evening it all out. In order to get the hair even, cut the hair in different angles, going against the hair string. Can you pause that video? Pause it? Yeah. Pause, like, the recording? Uh, then replay it? Or? Like, pause it after I'm done. Uh, I'll try. And so we could keep recording on the same track. Let's go. Daniel? Or does it just make a new one? Yes, click on this and it makes... Oh no, I click on this and it just... Pause it, right? Now we start giving shape to the beard with your T-liner trimmer. This is pretty much giving the, cutting the outer border of the beard. Make sure your lines are nice and crisp yeah, 10%, for, uh, for the client's content. You gonna charge her? Yeah, whatever. Well. Yeah, that's fine. As time goes by, you're going to learn how to hold the machine in your hands and in which angles to hit the hair. You can, um, you can use this video to practice how to hold your machines, which will make you a better barber in the future. I know this part should be like, oh, the client's request to one of you. That's the mic later. You know, gonna make a customer happy or something. A good thing to do before you do your client's beard is ask a lot of questions. Uh, good communication skill count when it comes to being to giving the client what they want, and paraphrasing back to them what they um, what they want is also a good means of communication. Uh, remember, uh, the closer you get to giving the client what they want, the more they're gonna come back to you, which is a plus in the future. And I had a pretty fresh idea for you again, so I'm sure probably make you stand a lot crazy. Okay. All right, on to the next step. What I usually do next is I, I would usually put on the client's face, I would lean the chair back and put a uh, shaving cream or cleansing cream to your liking or the client's liking. I will definitely give the client, a, I would say a, a small facial, nothing too crazy, um, which is followed with the hot towel, it's just to soften the hair and also the skin to open the pores. Implementing, uh, implementing all this uh, is gonna give you a, you know, a more diverse skill set which is going to bring more clients and also um, 
it's also going to put more money in your pocket if you're charging people for this service. It's definitely a good service to have under your belt. Let's go. You're gonna kind of have to get the shaving part too. So something that people ask me a lot is, oh, I, um, I want to learn how to uh, use the straight razor. And using a straight razor is a lot like anything else. With practice, you get better. Um, of course, uh, it's, it's a little different because there's a little bit of, um, let's say, um, danger involved. But uh, with any tool there could be you know that factor of danger or something but with practice you get better of course um, no, no skill is is perfected by not practicing so the more you do something the better you get another thing I want to add to this is before you use a straight razor on a client please ask the client if their skin is susceptible to uh, uh, to bumps or to uh, razor burn because that might be you might have other met methods of uh, of shaping up their beard without the straight razor there are always all uh, ulterior or alternate methods of doing things so definitely ask questions before you do things and um, definitely keep your clients comfortable If you want to see more videos and pictures of what I do, don't be afraid to follow me on Instagram at the best barber, all one word. And if you like my videos, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. And thumbs up don't hurt either, guys. Thank you very much. And we're pretty much done. I guess uh, I'm going to give you guys a display of the finished product. And remember, like, subscribe, take care, fellas. Did you tell him? Toma dice dos días antes o algo, tú sabes. Toma dice, when you put me on the schedule, you tell me. It's that simple, bro. Just fucking annoying. They just blows right through. I don't give him shit about it, but make a few hundred bucks. Maybe like hundred, like hundred twenty, hundred ten. Maybe that's a good night. You're blocking the lighting. I'll tell you what. They'll get the idea for this. You can stop it there.